Hi everybody, welcome to the Big App Show. Once again, we've got an author uh, with us in the studio today. We welcome Don Campbell, who uh, has written his first book, although no stranger to um, the media and uh, showbiz entertainment world. Don, welcome to uh, the Big App Show. Hi, good to be here. So I'm reading your book, The Crystal Point of the Mog Pog, and um, uh, on my uh, Kindle app on my iPad. Mm -hmm. And and here's I want to give you my experience, and I'd love to talk about okay. this book and about you. Great. So right off the bat, this thing gets into action. I'm like, wow, this is kind of cool. This is a book that gets right into action all of a sudden. I'm like, this is sci-fi. What mm -hmm. is this? And about three quarters of the way through the book, I'm also at the end of the book. I'm like, wait a minute. This is like I would have enjoyed this when I was 14, and I'm enjoying. And I'm 46. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm really loving this book, and I didn't actually realize it until that moment that it's, it, it really is written for 14 year old boys or maybe even younger yeah. in that case, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Now, this is your first book, what, what, what made you come up with this? And is that still an audience? The, the kids still read at this age? Kids do, but there's a lot more books for girls than boys. Chick books, yeah, and we see that a lot here. <laughs> you know, and they're big, thick volumes. Mm -hmm. and, and whereas, I think if you want, if you want to get a boy to read, and hook them on reading, you got to do that. You got to do the action. You got you got to get out of the gate fast, and not stop till you get to the end. And I hopefully that's how the book works. It, no, it succeeded it, completely yeah. right off the bat. Good. Um, but again, this book for this audience is this. Are you? I mean, you've done a lot of things. What made you do this? Was it just a story well, you had? Yeah, by, by a lot of things you're probably referring to my TV stuff. Yes, where, absolutely. Uh, for years I, I ran Modern Marvels, which is a, a, a non-fiction series. And very successful series. A very successful series. And, uh, and I, had to, I had a lot of producer writers working under me, and I always had to f just focus on making their words better, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and so, and it all had to be very factual. And so at some point I just wanted to take off what I call the creative blinders, you know, that focus, mm -hmm. and just let my imagination run free. Succeeded. And, <laughs> you really did. Thanks. So, so that was kind of the intent. And then, then the, uh, the original premise from the book came uh, uh, came in two stages. One was for uh, uh, this kind of crazy screenplay I had an idea about, about a, uh, a man who becomes a werebear and then an environmental saboteur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the, the other part is uh, a, great, uh, a great time in the Mount Lassen area, running around at night with my little grandsons. And uh, as uh, I hope kids still do, mm -hmm. you know, get, yeah. to get out at night and run around and scare each other. Right, stuff. right, so, right. So it came from both those. It, it was a melding of those two ideas. And there's also kind of a, a, a cool subtext that kind of overlays everything with we have the, the blood-sucking beasts that, uh, that appear when man destroys uh, the earth. Um, yeah. Which is really, it's, it's, it's a very nice message, actually, that kind of seeps, seeps throughout the whole thing, intentional, I presume. A absolutely, yeah. I, I, wanted, I wanted to underlay under, uh, the whole work with, with, with kind of an environmental theme. At the same time, I didn't want, you know, I didn't want to take away from the fun of reading it by, having, by hitting someone over the head mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I thought, gee, if, if I can actually get... Uh, kids to read this, certainly not too early to introduce them to some, some big ideas about how the planet works, how the biosphere works. So that I think is probably the, the biggest challenge um, for all authors today is uh, people are in some ways reading much more, but they're not really reading literary works or, or book books. Um, how's it doing? Because uh, it's on Kindle only, which I think is very interesting. It's uh, it's not uh, in uh, in a physical form yet. Mm -hmm. um, are you seeing uptake on the on the book? Uh, some, uh, but uh, um, what I found was it's pretty easy to. 
put a book up on Kindle. The mm-hmm. hard thing is to um, have an audience find that book. Marketing, yeah. When there's several hundred thousand titles on right. Kindle. Right. So how do you get uh, your book uh, to be the distinguished book among those? You know, so and it's stuff like we're doing right now. What else have that you done? What else have you done that you that that has worked for you in like social media stuff or uh, blogging? And where where have you found that that uh, the best ways to promote your product? I uh, I I think the um, uh, a book like this has to reach kind of a critical mass. You know, you got to get enough people outside of your circle of friends that know about the book and start reading it and uh, um, if they like it then word of mouth I think is going to be the big thing. Mm -hmm. But first you got to get people, some people into the tent somehow. Right. It's um, a bit about your um uh, your television work. Do you still uh, produce shows? I do, but not uh, to the extent that, that I did. Uh, I did Modern Marvels for 12 years, 450 mm-hmm. hour-long episodes. So I'm not on that, that treadmill now that I was. Mm-hmm. What are you doing now in, uh, in television production? Um, I, I have a, a couple of uh, short scripts that uh, that I just wrote for a half hour uh, uh, TV show and I'm um, trying to uh, um, create some multimedia books that for the iPad mm-hmm. uh, with uh, some friends of mine who have a company called Zentro Publishing. Uh, so it's the text of the book but you can also bring in video, audio, um, graphs, charts, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm I'm working some in that field. Too. That's really interesting. So you're you know really making the transition to the, whatever new media is. I don't think anyone can really define it just yet. Yeah. Uh, was this a decision you made consciously? Like I'm kind of done with the old way. I want to try new stuff. Um, semi-consciously. <laughs> okay. You know. Um, uh, if you watch TV now, that the as far as I'm concerned, the, the the quality of cable television has really taken a nosedive mm-hmm. in terms of the intelligent content. You know, now it's a, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, soap opery kind of reality shows mm-hmm. and um, um, shows I call treasure hunt shows where you know, in this bad economy, it, it, it could be uh, uh, guys who were um, auctioneers finding that thing that right, brings right. in, you know, <laughs> yep. $50,000 right, or something right. like that. So you see a lot of treasure hunter shows and stuff like that, and, and not a lot of shows that uh, encourage you to think a lot. You might be the right guy to ask, why, what is it about, let's just call it reality television, now, from the production side, I understand very well um, they're low cost, easy to make, um, you know, shoot a bunch of stuff, and it's really in the post that you can really pull it all together and build your story. But it's really resonating with the audience. Why? Uh, you know, I think uh, we're in bad times. Mm-hmm. And, and I think uh, a lot of people just like to turn on the TV and vegetate. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's that's part of it. Just be very passively entertained. Hmm. You know? And uh, I, I think it's I think it's dangerous. Uh, it's it's a dangerous way to confront difficult times. Right. I think. Huh? Do you, is there are there any points of light out there? I mean, I, I agree with you. The cable to, coming from cable television. I, I've, you know, obviously keep a good view on it, and I see the same thing. Uh, but even uh, Discovery, History Channel, they're all also kind of moving towards treasure hunt shows. Yeah, uh-huh. and it's hard to tell one from the other anymore. Yeah, and is there anything good out there that you like that is <laughs> that that might be worthwhile watching? Oh, a- absolutely! It, it it's it's 
it's not a question of uh, of um, uh, either or. It's a question of degree, you know. Whereas uh, good informational programming, stimulating uh, intellectually, um, maybe was. Uh, five or six years ago, it might have been 80% of the fare of some of these stations. Now it's maybe 20%. Right. So it's a question of degree. There's still a lot of good programming. See, I like C-SPAN the best. I mean, yeah. that's my favorite channel to watch. I have a lot of patience. Um, one of these days, I'm going to put my C-SPAN program together, which just edits out all the boring stuff and just puts the funny stuff in there. That's a reality show in the making. It really is. C-SPAN, <laughs> and I'm telling you, C-SPAN is beautiful. There's so much fun stuff on there. But the, so I think that contrast is really nice that you made this book. It's. Uh, you know, actually, I, I would put it in the in the realm of um, of Harry Potter in a way that this is just a fun book. Uh, I think in, I'm not sure how it would be for girls. I can certainly see for boys, um, and I had that kind of grandfather. You know, who like mm -hmm. like ah, come on, I'm do and do something crazy. We weren't looking for the man bears, uh, <laughs> nor did he turn into one. <laughs> but you know, kind of that active type of grandfather. It's, it's really nice and. Uh, and I don't even know if uh, enough kids have that kind of grandfather these days. It seems like that family unit also is, you know, it's kind of waning a bit. Yeah, and and certainly uh, grandfather's portrayals in the media are usually kind of lackluster characters, I think, who... Wear sweaters. Yeah. With, as yeah. you described in the book, wear sweaters with buttons and like, uh, yeah. that's grandpa. Yeah, and you know, right. they, they, don't, they don't do too much. They're, they're not these real virile guys who can take young boys and teach them about the world. Right. You know? Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. It's, uh, uh, the portrayal is, is probably very far from the truth, I would hope. I mean, if you, I mean, the, you're a grandfather yourself, so do you take your, your grandchild out and do crazy stuff? Try to. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. yeah I, I think that's part of the role of uh, of a grandparent. Right. You right. know, is is to uh, is to, you know, do things that maybe the kid wouldn't do with the parents because the parents are uh, too busy or too preoccupied doing right. something else, and uh, uh, and just. Uh, you know, you can have an attitude <laughs> with the, the grand <laughs> Perfect, too. yeah, perfect. The book is uh, The Crystal Point of the Mog Pogs. It is really a great read. Uh, and if I were Milton Bradley, I'd brand it, you know, kids from 14 to 114, because it really is that good a story. It's really fun. Any ideas uh, or thoughts about uh, uh, a movie for this? I mean, would seems like I it's would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay. Yeah, I'd love it. Uh, and actually, I'm, I am working on two sequels right now. I see this as a trilogy. And so Perfect. I'm writing the two sequels uh, simultaneously because uh, I, I thought I had the second one done, and then I'm writing the third one, and I realize I have to go back into the second one to tweak something so it makes sense in the third one. Okay, so, all right, perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah. So available only on the Kindle as for now, uh, but the great thing is all you have to do is hit the blue button after we're done with the video and it'll take you right into the Amazon store. You can buy it from there. Uh, Don Campbell, thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. Good luck with the book. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you back uh, hopefully with uh, one of the other two in the trilogy and or maybe the uh, the movie. I Never hope know. so, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you.